Superheroes! A team of friends and animals working together! Splash the Penguin! Patience the Sloth! The Pollinator a Bee! Karma Chameleon! Frog the Croaker! With Robin! Hi friends, it's me, Robin! I'm so excited to see everybody! Splash says he can video chat today, so we're gonna check it out and see what he's up to! Robin, I was just finishing my breakfast. Uh, oh, excuse me. Did you just swallow that fish whole? Of course, silly. I had to swallow it. We penguins don't have any teeth. Oh, that's right. I forgot. What else do you eat? Well, sometimes I eat a squid or some krill, but mostly I just eat fish. My family makes me eat all kinds of things, like vegetables and fruit and grains. I'd rather eat cake all day. I guess fish have everything I need to be healthy and strong and swim so fast. Maybe your body needs all those different kinds of foods to be healthy. I wonder if different kinds of animals all need different kinds of food. I wonder what rats eat. Animal of the day. This is my pet rat, Gizmo, and he is considered a rodent. At the zoo, we have a couple different rodents that live there. We have the capybara, which lives in our river's edge, and then we also have naked mole rats, which live in our children's zoo. I'm gonna show you, since we're talking about what animals like to eat, what Gizmo's favorite snack is. So Gizmo's favorite snack is a tomato. You can see that Gizmo likes to hold his tomatoes in his two little front paws. Rodents have very special teeth that keep growing their whole life long, so they need lots of things to chew on to make sure their teeth don't get too long. Bye, Gizmo. Wild Kid Kingdom. One lonely gazelle munching grass out in the open, when suddenly a cheetah emerges. The chase is on, but the gazelle didn't stand a chance. Snail mail! It's mail time with Aunt Stephanie! I wonder what she saw on her travels this week. Dear Robin, Hello from Namibia, Africa. Today, we spotted a herd of 28 elephants. The herd was made up of young calves, teenagers, moms, and ants, the guide explained. It reminded me of the elephant family that lives at the St. Louis Zoo. They were headed to the watering hole to have a bath. During bath time, they also take big drinks. Did you know that elephants drink as much as 50 gallons of water a day? That's how much it takes to fill a bathtub. Love, Aunt Stephanie. Sarah, sing along. Hi, friends. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be learning a song all about animals and their diets. When we talk about an animal's diet, we are talking about the things that they like to eat. We thought that learning the tune to apples and bananas would be the best way to teach you. So, those that don't know the tune, Apples and Bananas, it goes, I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. So, what we're going to do is change those words and put in animals and the things that they like to eat. Okay, let's do it. Snakes like to swallow, 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 mice and other rodents. Snakes like to swallow, 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 mice and other rodents. Bears like to grab, 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 fish and then some berries. Bears like to grab, 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 fish and then some berries. Lions like to hunt, hunt, hunt. Zebras and gazelles, lions 
like to hunt, hunt, hunt zebras and gazelles. Alligators like to chomp, chomp, chomp birds and fish and mammals. Alligators like to chomp, chomp, chomp birds and fish and mammals. Frogs like to slurp, slurp, slurp little bugs and flies. Frogs like to slurp, slurp, slurp Little butterflies, drafts like to munch, 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 leaves up in the trees. Drafts like to munch, 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 leaves up in the trees. Hares like to snatch, 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 fish out of the water. Hares like to snatch, 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 fish out of the water. Worms like to nibble, nibble, nibble. Dirt out on the ground. Worms like to nibble, nibble, nibble. Dirt down on the ground. Thank you guys so much for singing with me. Bye! <laughs>
It's a zebra eating. Maybe you spotted that the zebra was eating hay. Zebras are herbivores, which means they only eat plants. Here you can see a zebra skull. Inside are the big teeth with ridges that zebras use to grind up the plants that they eat. Grasses, like the hay in this picture, are zebras' favorite food. But if they can't get grass, like during the dry season, they will also eat bark and leaves. Actions. Ever looked up in the sky and seen a sight like this? These are turkey vultures and they live right here in Missouri. They're soaring high above us, perhaps smelling for food. This is a cenarius vulture. It lives here at the St. Louis Zoo. And they, like all vultures, are bald. They don't have any feathers on their head because they have a very special diet. Dead things. They are scavengers. So they have to eat things that smell and taste kind of gross. So sometimes that means putting your head inside a dead animal. This is the beautiful king vulture. You can see they also don't have feathers on their head for the same reason. Vultures are amazing. They help clean up after all sorts of things. And they have an incredible sense of smell, unlike most birds, to find that rotten yumminess that they call dinner. We're going to pretend to be vultures today in our role play. See how they're soaring? We're going to stretch our arms out like wings and soar. Can you soar like this? Sometimes they soar high up in the wind currents, moving very slow, letting the wind carry them. Other times, they go down lower, perhaps smelling some food. Often, they fly in groups, sniffing out a yummy food. <gasps> they found something. Ooh, they're looking for it. <gasps> and they're using their <gasps> beak to pull and swallow that yummy dead stuff. Oh, it looks pretty good. Vultures don't have teeth, so they have to bite and pull off the food they eat and swallow it whole. <gasps> oh no, something startled them. They don't. Oh, it's happening. Oh, they threw up. <gasps> Vultures sometimes throw up as a defense. Eat funky dead stuff. Throwing it back up again is a good way to make animals not want to eat you. Even our beautiful vultures, Boris and Natasha, if they were in the wild and were worried about a predator, they would throw up on themselves too. And it might keep them safe. So being a vulture is pretty weird. Now, let's try pretending again. Maybe you can get others to join you, and you can have a whole group of vultures soaring high up in the sky. Sometimes they soar fast, and sometimes they soar slow and just glide. Make sure you're smelling. Oh, there's some food. Use that beak to yank parts out of that food and swallow it whole. Yank and swallow it whole. But be careful. If there's danger, you know what to do. Good job being a vulture today. Close Encounters. A scientist uses a microscope to look at things up close. Can you guess what I'm looking at under my microscope? Up close, this looks very green and kind of fuzzy. I see some lines and some patterns. Have you seen something like this before? It's a leaf. 
Lots of animals eat leaves. Animals who only eat plants are called herbivores. Citizen Science. If you like to watch the birds where you live, you might want to try Project Feeder Watch this winter. What you do is get a bird feeder, count the birds that visit, and then have a grown up help you enter the data. Data is the scientific way of saying the stuff you learned. So in this case, how many birds you saw. This summer, start by hanging up or filling your bird feeder and learning to identify some of your backyard birds. When you register with Project Feeder Watch, they'll send you a kit that will help you. I see a cardinal and a dove. There, I see a female goldfinch. I had so much fun watching the birds at my feeder. Look at all the food they ate. Can't wait till I get to help the scientists. Wow, I sure did learn a lot today about what animals eat. I miss getting together with my friends and having dinner or lunch together. Maybe when this is all over, we can go out to a restaurant and celebrate. Maybe I can find a restaurant that would be good for all of us. Hmm, this one looks good. It's got insects for the croaker and karma, and it's got mac and cheese for Robin, and of course, fish for me.